Hey everybody, today we're gonna create a Google Colabs notebook as well as import a data set, in this case a CSV file, into our Google Colabs notebook. In the description, um, you'll find a link to two files. Um, the files are importadataset.ipynb um, as well as our Titanic uh, dataset, uh, our CSV file here. Uh, so this is our data set and we're going to actually be importing that data set into our uh, Google Notebook. Uh, we will uh, either create a new notebook or uh, we can also use this template file that I have uh, in the folder in the link. Um, so just to get started, we should go to collab.research.google.com and if you just type this left part in, uh, what happens is it'll take you this to this page right here where um, you have uh, Google Colabs. And uh, what you can do is either um, create a new notebook here. So if I click on that, it's going to create a brand new notebook. Or if I go back to colab.research.google.com, I can also upload that template file that uh, I was talking about earlier. So if I go to uh, choose file, I actually have this in my downloads folder, import a data set. And if I import that, it also will open up uh, this notebook. So this is what it looks like here. There's a bunch of text and a bunch of code down here. And um, I'll just actually use this uh, notebook here to um, just go through how to import a CSV file. Uh, so here are all of the directions, all of the instructions. Um, what we can do now is just execute some code uh, so, and import some libraries uh, so we can uh, actually import that CSV file that we want. Uh, so the first thing to do right now is to press this play button here. And what that will do is um, it will execute these two lines of codes. Import NumPy as NP, import Pandas as PD. Uh, so what you're actually doing is you're importing a library called NumPy and you're naming it NP. Uh, and then you're also importing a library called Pandas and naming it as PD. So I'll press play here. Think about it for a second. And uh, once it's done, uh, you'll see this number here. Uh, what this number means is it, that the code has been executed and it's the, in, in this case, it's the second time that I've executed uh, code on this notebook. Um, now we've imported the libraries that are required to uh, help import the data sets. What I'm gonna do now is, is actually import that data set. And so because Google Colabs, because this notebook is actually not on your computer, it's on, um, it's on a server on Google, we actually have to um, download or upload this data set here, this Titanic uh, CSV file to the server uh, at Google so that we can actually then import that uh, into our Google Colabs notebook. And so one way to do this, uh, the easiest way to do this is actually to click on this folder icon here, right there. It will then bring you to, to this list of options. You have upload, refresh, or mount a Google Drive. Uh, the easiest thing in this particular case is actually just to uh, press upload. Then um, click on the Titanic CSV file that you've downloaded from my link in the description. It's just a reminder that every time um, you restart uh, or come back to this Google notebook, like if you come back the next day, the file will likely not be there because the server has probably been taken down um, over, overnight. So I just clicked out of that. And as you see now, you see this uh, Titanic CSV file um, right here on the left-hand side. 
So now we can actually import that into our Google Colabs uh, notebook on this right hand side. And all we need to do is uh, type in df equals pd dot read underscore csv and then parentheses titanic dot csv um, and enclose that in single or double quotes, right? And so what you're doing right now is you are using the pandas uh, library pd using a function or a method called read underscore CSV. And so it's gonna read the CSV file and the CSV file that we are, we're wanting to import or wanting to read is called titanic.csv. And obviously we just uploaded the titanic CSV here um, so that uh, when you execute this line of, line of code, it should be able to find the file. And so when I press play here or run cell, um, let's actually, I'm going to do a shift return on my keyboard so I can actually get this number here. So I know for a fact that it's, uh, the line of code has been executed. Um, nothing gets outputted, right? Uh, and that's because we didn't ask, um, we didn't ask this notebook to actually output anything or display anything for us. So to check that if the import was successful, what I'm doing now is, um, is actually uh, just going to output or display the first five rows of the data file. And that, and in order to do that, all we need to do is uh, type in df.head and then close it off with, um, with, these, um, with these brackets. So now execute that. And what you'll get is actually uh, the first five rows um, and all the columns uh, of data that you see here. All right, so that's how you know that the import was successful. And so then after that, all you need to do is uh, just start writing code and manipulate and analyze the data in any way you want. And so in order to do that, you have two buttons here, code and text. So anytime you want to write text, sort of like what you see here, import CSV file, you know, one and two, you can uh, just press text and a new text box will open up. If you actually want to write code like this, you can um, press this plus code button and a new um, code block will actually appear for uh, appear there. So df.head again, maybe if I want um, the first 10 rows, I can type that in and then I can execute that and then I get the first 10 rows, right? So that's all there is to importing a CSV data file. Um, this this um, notebook will actually be saved in your uh, Google Drive. So all you would need to do is go to your Google Drive and then a new file should be created for you or new, sorry, a new folder. Uh, that folder is called Colab Notebooks. So double click on that folder and this file should be there waiting for you. Um, when you want to open it up and analyze again. All right. Thank you.